Offshore structures are normally protected against corrosion by large aluminum anodes added during construction. On a typical platform in 150 feet of seawater, there may be 100 anodes attached to protect it for 25 or 30 years. As the anodes age, they eventually become depleted and no longer protect the steel structure. Deepwater's retro buoy replaces all those anodes with a durable, reliable, impressed current system that protects for 20 years and only takes a day and a half to install. The retro buoy is lowered to the seabed where its floats are deployed. The retro buoy is unhooked via ROV and its floats are released. Three mixed metal oxide electrodes are housed inside each of its four buoyant modules to ensure that they're always surrounded by clean seawater. This configuration greatly increases the system's output and reliability. After positioning the retro buoy, the boat moves toward the structure while unspooling cable to the seabed. Topside, a pulling line is guided down to the cable on the seabed through an unused J-tube. The cable is attached to the pulling line and pulled up the tube to a junction box. From there, the cable is wired to a rectifier that will provide the retro buoy's power. Enough extra cable has been unspooled to reach the platform's topside junction box. A single retro buoy can protect a 150,000 square foot structure or extend the lives of multiple smaller assets. Retro buoys can be used to protect fixed platforms, FPSOs, and other floating platforms such as spars. Retro buoy is an extremely versatile and reliable choice for protecting offshore assets. A retro buoy installation can cost up to two-thirds less than traditional anodes and offers a design life lasting up to three times as long.